Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In today's episode, we're going to be fitting piston rings to the Ferguson FE3523 C engine. All the parts used in this episode and other episodes are all sponsored by MRQ UK Limited and at the end of the film there will be a list of the parts I used with part numbers for your reference. Well I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In today's episode what we're going to be doing is fitting the piston rings to our Ferguson FE 3523C engine today. Okay, so what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna be fitting the piston rings to our pistons. All right, you can see this one I've already done, but what you can do, you can watch me sort of get it out of the box and then obviously then, not obviously, we'll fit the, um, fit the rings to the piston. I'm not gonna go into big detail on, I'll say what the different rings are, but I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm going to do a separate how-to episode on the different types of rings that you can get and on how to fit them. This will just be on what we've got in the box. In the box, we get a gudgeon or wrist pin. All right, it depends on what you know it as. Two circlips. And then our piston. All right, so that's what comes in in the box, all right? When it comes out of the box, just make sure you've got these bits, all right? And then have a good look at the piston, just to make sure there's no damage or anything like that on it at all. And obviously, there's no big scratches along the side walls or the skirt of the piston. That's in that box. The next one, we have our piston rings. They're all in little separate pouches. There's five, one, two, three, four, five. Norm, sometimes when you get piston rings in a pack, it will have five, four, three, two, one. So then you'll know which ring goes in each. If I get them all out, so we can see them. Here's our five rings. Have a, have a little look at them, all right? Just make sure they're not sort of broken or damaged in any way and what we don't want to do is start opening them up really wide these are only made of cast all right they're, they're very brittle so these two are our oil rings all right on number one uh, sorry five and four next we have our compression rings so this is number three ring and if you look where my finger is they're the words top and it's two little dots on there all right, so basically what that one's telling us is when we fit this, this ring, all right, obviously we've had a look at it, it says top and there's two little punch marks on it. So that's number three. Number two is exactly the same, but number one is slightly different. Number one, all right, is, is slightly different. So if we put them together, we can see one's chromed, all right, and the other one is just, just plain. All right, so that's, that's the difference and they're in the order that they have to be fitted. This one, number one can go either way. It's just number two and number three have got to be the correct way up. That's the rings, all right? So we know what order we're gonna fit them. So we'll just put that over to there. And over here, I have the con rod, uh, connecting rod in a vise. It's the best way to hold it, I find, because what we're gonna do, we're just gonna fit the piston on top. Now, there's little end bushes in here. Now these ones are getting a little bit worn, so this is just for sort of demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is get these machined, have some new bushes fitted and get them to machined so they fit our gudgeon pin. But what you want to be doing is, we'll put a little bit of oil on and just smooth that around. So when that pin goes in, it just wants to just slide nicely. If you think as well, this pin will turn slightly as well, but it actually fits quite well. There's no, as we, we could wiggle it in there, there's no movement in there. There's just enough gap around it for the thi a thin film of oil to lubricate it as it's on there. All right, but I'm, as we're doing all this work, I'm gonna get new bushes fitted. So what we'll do, take the pin out, There's the combustion area of our piston, all right, which we want facing us. This is number three um, con rod. The number three 
is away from us and the combustion area is towards us. So what we'll do, we'll just see if I can get that in. And in it goes. That'll do so far. And what we can do, drop the piston slightly. It doesn't fit very well on my bench here. Right. The vice is not really tight. It's just enough just to hold it in place as we fit the other bits. Here is our little circlip. Now there's two sides to these circlips. There's a more rounded side and a sharp side, let's say. Now, when we're fitting these, all right, we want the sharp side facing out towards us. So when it goes in, there's a little recess in there. The sharp sides will be digging themselves into that corner. There's not a little round. The round will go towards the pin. So, get it the right way. So I'll put this, this one in this side. That's that pin in into there. Remember, sharp side facing out, little circlip pliers, leaves them together, nice and gentle. And there we go. There's that little circlip. I, I always put the um, the two little holes of the circlip to the top. Don't know if it really matters, but that's how I do it. All right, so just remember when you're fitting these little circlips, sharp, the sharp corners of it facing outwards. All right, so there's our piston, so that's that's there. What we're now going to do is we're going to fit our piston rings to our piston. What I said earlier, these are brittle. There's different tools you can get to fit them. This is a really cheap set. You just sort of just fit it in as best you can. Fits in there like that. All right, this this is a, a used ring, all right, which I'm using just for this. Now I can feel there, there's getting a lot of tension on that. And I think if I go any further, it will break it. But this is what you've got to be careful of. Try and get the tools that you need for the job. This is a little cheap set. Thing is with these ones, it doesn't support it anyway. Your hand is going to help support it when you fit it. But what you've got to be careful of is you don't squeeze out too hard. Old fashioned way of doing it, which works is you open it with your fingers, support it at the back, and then you open up and lie it down until it goes all the way down to the bottom. You could use your, use your hands, a little cheap tool off Amazon or eBay, wherever, or got this little set. What's nice about these ones, the ring lays inside, give it a bit of tension. I'll just push it down in there. What's good about these ones is it hooks it end, uh, the, the ends of the piston ring in there, plus it's also supporting it around the edge. All right, so I can squeeze these together and it's, it's all supported, it's fine. You force them a bit too much, all right, and they will just snap, okay? So be careful when you're fitting these. Here's number five. We'll load it into our pliers, open it up, and we can slide all the way down. Okay, so that's number five to number four. Exactly the same. All right, open it up. So this is number three. Same thing again, just load it in. Open it up. Down. It's number three. Number two. Number one, I'll just double check again. There's nothing on the top. Doesn't say it's got to go which way up. And there they are. They're all they're all fitted. All right, so now got all the piston rings on. When we go to fit the pistons into the, into the actual engine, what we need to do is move our piston rings. Now, if this engine was going up and we had compression, what it could do, it could, if we had all the gaps in a row, but imagine the gaps are a lot smaller when they're in there, those combustion gases are gonna go straight down into the bottom of our engine. So what we need to do is move our piston rings round, all right, to make the longest route we can, just in case those combustion gases go. This is, I'm only just positioning these roughly for now. When we fit the pistons, we'll do it properly, okay? But that's where we are today. So that is fitting the piston to the conrod with our gudgeon pin and little 
circuit clips and fit in the piston rings. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. When the pistons and rings come out of their boxes, it's not one, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. The only time it's gonna to start to matter is when we start putting the pistons onto the con rods and make sure we've got them the right way around. But we'll do all that when we go to start fitting them into the engine. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. All right, it's just a sort of a, a quick, simple little episode, but I will do another video at some point on the different rings and what they do and fitting different ones. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.